forecast. That high pressure system that has uh, essentially led to some very tranquil weather, lots of sunshine, comfortable temperatures, and the reduction in humidity uh, is actually going to start to shift eastward as we head through the evening and into the day tomorrow. And that really is going to allow for an upper level system to take hold of our area and bring in more clouds and also bring in the chance of some showers for your Tuesday. I don't think it's going to be an overwhelming rain opportunity, but there will be some showers in the forecast. You'll need the umbrella on standby. Now, as we turn the page to Wednesday, looks like we're going to be setting up for a little bit of a messy situation. Uh, there's going to be the potential for some strong to severe thunderstorms. There's going to be enough instability for these storms to tap into, enough energy in the atmosphere. So we're definitely going to be watching the skies and, of course, watching radar very closely on Wednesday. Let's get you through the next 48 hours. Uh, first, starting with this high pressure system that once again has us almost cloud free and definitely rain free across the entire state of Maryland. Really just a beautiful afternoon uh, leading to a pretty solid evening here at the harbor there. Look at the clouds out there in the sunshine. Really nice weather. 72 degrees, nice breeze out of the west northwest at 12 miles per hour. As we head into the evening, expecting the numbers to start to fall and then eventually dip into the upper 60s. But really going to be a good forecast to get some of that yard work done. If you haven't cut the grass in a week or two, you need to do some weed eating. This is a ample prime time to do that this evening. Overnight lows tonight falling to the mid 50s. So a bit of a mild start to the day tomorrow, but we're going to be watching this upper level system because it's going to bring in that potential for some showers and thunderstorms on your Tuesday. Here's how it all times out. Starting with the seven o'clock hour, a few showers, especially in the northwestern portion of the area. Temperatures in the upper 50s near 60. As we get closer to lunchtime, that's where we're going to really start Start to see some of the greatest uh, rain totals uh, start to build into the region here and that's going to start to diminish as we head into the afternoon and then those rain chances become more isolated so if you were looking to get out tomorrow I think the better time to do that is going to be in the afternoon and early evening where there's just going to be some spotty showers versus uh, some heavy uh, rain the temperatures at 70 degrees as we get closer to the seven o'clock hour eventually starting to get some clearing as we get closer to midnight but here is that setup for severe thunderstorms for your Wednesday and notice level two risk for the extreme northern portion of the viewing area. Uh, that's going to include Bel Air, Thermont, all the way uh, west towards uh, Garrett County and folks out in Cumberland. Everyone else under that level one risk for strong storms. Here's how it all plays out. I think we'll see some early showers early morning. As we get closer to the eight o'clock hour, we're going to be watching another burst of energy start to build into the area. And I think some folks could see some showers around lunchtime, especially uh, folks that are in Bel Air, Elkton. But we're really going to be watching the evening line of showers and thunderstorms because that's where the most energy is and I think we'll have some heating from the day especially around that six to seven o'clock hour still enough out there for these thunderstorms to tap into and as we get closer to nine ten o'clock we start to lose all of that energy and those showers start to weaken a little bit rain chances will continue to linger though as we head into your Thursday and Friday and eventually starting to clear out on Saturday uh, we'll finally start to see humidity decreasing by Sunday low 80s as we head into next Monday daytime highs at 81 degrees